Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new edition of the Pro Wrestling Show here on Connect TV. I'm your host once again, Kendra Dix, for another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show where we talk about Raw Ring Reports, SmackDown Report, Impact Ring Report, and the latest hot topics. On hot topics, we're going to talk about what's going on on all the promotions. What's now? All right, let's get started with the Raw Ring Report. On this Monday Night Raw Ring Report, Roman Reigns opened the show to kick off Raw in Memphis. He talked about some more Joe, the battle he had with him for the Intercontinental Championship. But he gets interrupted by Jason Jordan, of all people. Jason Jordan talks about him and Reigns are champions and Seth Rollins, and they should be named themselves as the Shields or something. And Seth Rollins comes out there and interrupts and reminds them that they are the tag team champions, but don't get too carried away. <laughs> but the battle comes, comes out and makes fun of the odd trio, and a fight ensues, and Kurt Angle later on signs a match between the six men and the six man tag team match. Sasha Banks teams up with Bailey against Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose with um, Paige in their corner and Mick James, I'm assuming, Sasha and Bailey's corner. Well, Banks and Bailey defeat Paige's duo and gaining some momentum coming up for the Royal Rumble. Next as well was Matt Hardy debuting new music and he faces and beats Kurt Hawkins and Bray Wyatt shows up and just started laughing in his face at woke Matt Hardy and it was like a laugh off between both men. Neither man turned away and you know both men are announced into the Royal Rumble match for the men's. Next, Elias sings and he welcomes the returning Miz to Raw. Elias, Miz promises to get his Intercontinental Championship back from Roman Reigns and he'll do so at a later time and date. But when the Miz do, he comes to Karango's office and tells Karango to make the match between him and Reigns at the Raw 25th anniversary and Angle agrees and it's going to happen on the 25th anniversary of Raw and speaking on their hot topics we'll have more legendary names and more names who's going to appear on the show a week a week before the rumble the go home show Enzo Mori defends and retains his cruiserweight championship over Cedric Alexander after getting himself disqualified but unfortunately for Enzo Enzo Later this week, found, we found out that Enzo will defend the championship against Alexander one more time at Royal Rumble. So Cedric Alexander could leave Philadelphia with the purple gold. Former tag team champions, The Bar, goes against Tyus Worldwide. And Tyus O'Neal pinned the upset of the night where he pinned Sheamus on the scoop or roll up and pinned a former WWE champion. You can't believe that. That's a shocker. Next, Samoa Joe battles Rhino and defeats him and declares himself into the Royal Rumble match and says he wants to eliminate John Cena. Well, we'll see on that note and that token. Also, a heavy favorite in the Royal Rumble match for the women's Oscar was ready to fight and got ambushed by Nia Jax at Nia Jax heard from women's champion Alexa Bliss about what kind of mess was going on. So next week the two women square off which is highly considered both women are highly considered to be the favorite to win the women's rumble match. <clears throat> and Brock Lesnar came out to the Raw crowd Memphis with Paul Heyman and Paul Heyman says that Braun Strowman and Kane do not have a chance to defeat Brock. At the end, when we saw something shocking that Kane came and attacked Brock to fight him into the backstage area where Braun Strowman was away in both of them, and Braun Strowman attacked both of them with a heavy grid 
a holding lighting grid a steel and just pull it out with the little rope around and just drop it down and have him collapse on both of men leaving the champion unconscious leaving Kane unconscious and the champion Brock Lesnar had to be carried out and stretched to the ambulance where Kane stands up on his own and didn't want to go to the hospital man that's that's crazy it's going to be a crazy triple threat match for the universal championship between Lesnar Strowman and Kane and finally the main event Finn Balor in his Bullet Club, I meant to say not Bullet Club, but Balor Club, but you, you know, trademark, wins over Roman Reigns, Jason Jordan, and Seth Rollins. After the match, The Miz, well, well Rollins got coup de grace by Balor and got the win for his team, but after the match, The Miz and his crew did a number job and a sneak attack, a Pearl Harbor job on the trio, and they focused on Roman Reigns and Miz did the skull crushing finale and sent a message to the champion that he wants his title back. And that ended Raw. So we ends the Raw Ring Report. Let's move over to the SmackDown Ring Report. Alright, on SmackDown, SmackDown Ring Report, Renee Young, and mind you, SmackDown was here in Birmingham. Didn't have a chance to go. Maybe next time they come around again, I will go. <laughs> but Renee Young opened the show and welcomed and interviewed WWE Champion AJ Styles. And she asked the champion about his thoughts of Daniel Bryan, you know, playing the games of upmanship, putting him against Sami Zayn, Kami Owens in a handicap match for the WWE title at the Rumble. And AJ laid it out saying that he didn't think that it was just, he was being sarcastic, but he didn't think he was going to be taken serious with that joke. But Jay Bryan took it, took it serious and put them put AJ in a match in a predicament that he could lose his title. And Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens claiming that if one of them win, they will be the first ever cold WWE champions, which <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to go. I hope AJ can pull off. And I think AJ will pull out because I don't think WWE is not too high. They're highly on Kevin Owens. They're highly a little bit on Sam Zayn, but they're not too high of them being the man. You know, they need each other. And they don't, they haven't got to that point where they haven't got to put that, you know, talking about with, with Kevin Owens last year. He needed Chris Jericho to stay as champion. I don't think they're going to be the same way in result. Not knocking me and man, but. That he has a different vision. <clears throat> All right, the returning Becky Lynch <laughs> faces Ruby Riot and gets the pinfall, gets payback for her victory over Riot. And mind you, now, now that um, Becky Lynch will team up with Sami Zayn in the Mixed Match Challenge, and also I forgot to mention that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens will team against. AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Sisuke Nakamura, those three guys that they be having trouble with. So, get you fast up to speed. Zack Ryder tries to get paid back and tries to earn a spot to advance in the U.S. title tournament. Unfortunately, he lost to his former partner, Mojo Rowley, who will go on to meet Bobby Roode in two weeks. And we'll see what's going to happen from there. But next week's U.S. title match will be Xavier Woods versus Jinder Mahal in the semifinals. So there's going to be a really interesting dynamic for that. Also, the Bludgeon Brothers defeated the Ascension after issues with the Ascension saving Breezango from them. So Bludgeon Brothers are, I believe, they are the next in line and next in key to winning the world tag team championships and prepping them for the Usos. So who knows? Speaking of the Usos, Chad Gable and Sheldon Benjamin demand justice. They felt like they was unfairly treated in their tag team championship match last week when they thought they pinned the Usos for the SmackDown tag team titles and the decision was reversed and they wanted something 
reprimands or something. And Daniel Bryan came out and said, you know what? I'm going to do y'all both a favor. I'm going to put the Usos against y'all at Royal Rumble. But this time, it's going to be a two out of three falls match. So, there's, there's what you can see. Also, um, and then Breezango defeated the team of Rusev and English in a quick finish. That was quicker than you ever imagined. <laughs> so Breezango looking for a new feud with Rusev and the New Day feuding with, I think, Jenna Mahal and what's his name? <laughs> they, his, his crew. So it's just kind of like a flip flop. I'm smacking that you can kind of like go on while Raw is kind of like they stay the same. And then finally, the end. WWE champion AJ Styles teams with Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura, who the other the, the Orton and Nakamura are entering the Royal Rumble match against the challengers for AJ's title, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And the team of Styles, Orton, and Nakamura won over Zayn and Owens at the Zayn and Owens in the beginning, trying to get themselves counted out. Chamber Man came back out and Restarted match, making it a no disqualification match. Um, try to get themselves. Um, everything it was just, it was just rule at the rule, rule chain man screwing them, sticking to them, and they won. And Orton, um, Styles, and Nakamura prepping themselves for Rumble Rumble. So that is the SmackDown Room Report. When we return, we're gonna have the Impact Room Report. We're going to have hot topics where we have a plethora of hot topics. You don't want to miss it. This is a pro wrestling show. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the pro wrestling show. I'm your host, Kendra Dix. And follow P PWS. On Twitter, we're all active now on Twitter. Just Connect TV or my little Twitter handle, K Kendra Dix at 89.twitter. Won't miss a thing. Um, let's go to the hot topics. For our hot topics this week, we found out that, um, let's two things. Like, congratulations to Christy Hemme for giving birth to four contriplets. Two boys, two girls. Congratulations, Christy Hemming, former WWE Diva Search winner, former broadcaster, interviewed for TNA, gave birth. Congratulations, Christy. And also, Jesse Goddard became a father. He gave, he welcomed his son. Congratulations to Jesse, the call himself the man. I didn't know William Shatner kind of released that news. But congratulations to them becoming parents. In this separate journey. All right, on hot topics, um, you won't believe it. Austin Aries makes his shocking return to Impact. As you see the pictures right here, Aries coming back to Impact and wins the its world title. They're calling the global title. The shocking Impact that's going to be aired in a couple of weeks and over Eli Drake. All right. Um. Rich Swan, there's been questions whether he will return or not, and Triple H and Stephanie kind of gave insight of what's Rich Swan, the status of Rich Swan, and Triple H saying we're just winning a legal. The Triple H saying, and Triple H said we have a zero policy tolerance on that. As you've seen, he's suspended until it's determined legally, one way or the other, and Stephanie says that if he's convicted, he will be released. Speaking of Triple H, Triple H also was supposed to be attending SmackDown this week in Birmingham, but instead he went to, he was in LA to have a date with um, Ronda Rousey that Ronda could, he wanted to sway Ronda to join WWE and could Ronda, could we see Ronda Rousey in a WWE ring sooner than later? I don't know. All right. 
Also, um, Impact Wrestling is thinking about just the title belts that's a reflection using the Global Force Wrestling belts. They want to get rid of it. And on the conference call, Scott Demore and Don Callis, the new executive vice president, said that they're going to replace those belts and bring new belts in when the April tapings come in. So expect those belts to make its debut late in the spring. Also, John Cena has partnered up with Nickelodeon to host the Kids' Choice Awards once again to be hosting back-to-back. He hosted last year. And also, Cena is in the works of working on projects with Nickelodeon with two shows with new content. So, Cena's on the road. WWE Hall of Famer, legendary broadcaster, Mean Gene Oakland is, is added to the Raw 25th anniversary. Mean Gene, a staple of WWE television in the 80s and the 90s, returns to Raw to join The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The New Age Outlaws, The Dudley Boys, and also added Brother of Love, Bruce Pritchard, who I'm a big fan of something to wrestle with, and Eric Bischoff. I'm a fan of him. So, WWE Mismatch Challenge will appear this Tuesday night, and... As we know, as you've been watching, who's team with who? We had a Miz and Oscar, but um, but um, Miz and Oscar versus Big E and Carmella, um, Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss versus Sami Zayn and Becky Lynch, Goldust and Lish Fox versus Jimmy Uso, Naomi, um, Elias and Bailey versus Russo and Lana, Apollo Cruz and Nia Jax versus Bobby Roode and. Women's champion Charlotte in the semifinals, fans will get a special vote to re- redeem who did who they wanted to pick back up again and who they feel like deserve a second chance. But in this coming week's episode, you will see Finn Balor and Sasha Banks team up against Shinsuke Nakamura and Natalia. Well, this should be interesting. Mixed match challenge will premiere on Facebook. This um. You know, so this um this this Tuesday. Um Mark Henry is officially retired from WWE. As news he's done actually with WWE. So uh, it is what it is. Congratulations to Mark Henry for all the contributions and success he has done in the WWE, such as being a world heavyweight champion and an ECW champion. Is WWE on the verge to sign with Fox after their NBC Universal NBC Universal deal is over with? It's likely, but it's not true at the matter right now. So it's just options for WWE if that does happen. Cody Rhodes is Ring of Honor's wrestler of the year. With, with a heck of a line that Cody Rhodes does deserve being the world champion, shocking the world, signing exclusively with Ring of Honor, and becoming his world champion. Speaking of Cody, Cody funding this with the Young Bucks and Marty Skull are all in event. So good luck to Cody. With that, the pay per view will debut September 1st. Um, trying to see what else is going on in wrestling. Um, see it, I think. This is it. And finally, Goldberg is considered to be the top candidate for the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2018. So we'd like to see Goldberg, Bam Bam Bigelow, the Douglas, and the Ivory, and many others who could join that elite class. But we'll find out as the weeks to come. All right. Um, That ends hot topics for this. And plus, also, finally, also, I meant to say, breaking news right now. I'm getting this from my producer that it is considered that Paige is likely going to retire from the WWE due to injury. 
but there's not been nor confirmed by WWE until we allegedly get the report. This is just for right now. But this is alleged. Paige is no longer her career in wrestling could be over, but we haven't found the conf confirmation from WWE yet. Once we get that confirmation from them, then we will go from there, but this is a, a legend. The, the rumors are in the window. All right, that ends hot topics for this week. Let's go over to the Impact Ring Report. On the Impact Ring Report, Dan Lambert gloats about retiring the Cowboy James Storm from Impact Wrestling and welcoming KM as the newest member of America's Top Team and Dan Lambert and lastly kind of look like they kind of like it's a second banana or something that Lambert is treating that uh, KM more than he's treating that's like a, a, a red stepchild or something like that. Moose and Edward stick their nose out and fins them out and leave them out of the ring. So later on the night Matches made between Moose and Eddie Edwards against KM and Lashley in the ring. <clears throat> EC3 has an open challenge and asks anyone in the back who wants to accept his challenge. And Pete Williams steps up. The match ends in no countries at the match. Sidell attacks EC3 from behind. Sidell challenges EC3 to a match where there's no judges, no grounds, and no time limits. It wants a 60 minute one fall to a finish match. And EC3 has not accepted the match, have not made a comment. <clears throat> Knockouts champion Laura Van Ness beats KC Spinelli. Allie returns the favor from last week, attacking the champion, leaving her bewildered. <laughs> Next is um, Impact Global Champion. Eli Drake delivers his championship address. And he gets interrupted by Alberto El Patron. El Patron said he wants his title match. He gets interrupted by Johnny Impact. Impact challenges Drake to a title match. And that is scheduled in Detroit in Motor City Madness, which they filmed somewhere in Detroit. And next week is a three way between El Patron, Drake, and, and um, Impact. The one thing my impact is they try to save on the budget as much as they can, as possible as they can. The budget is so immensely considered because you don't want to spend on, you know, I get that, but have that S in the arena. You know, tape it in the arena so it'll mean something more than just taping outside or ring. But, and also speaking that we were supposed to mention on Hot Topics that impact gave, did not, they want to get rid of the six side ring and more favor of the four side ring, which I'm kind of favor four side, but six side that's y'all niche. Y'all felt it, y'all created it, and now y'all want to revert back. It's, it's like a thing of hot potato <laughs> with hot potato, hot potato. But it is what it is. But I like four side rings, but like six side is kind of like you get, like, you know. Well, but most fans will disagree and agree, so who knows. The parks are backstage. Mick Chandler and Joseph. And they meet Jimmy Jacobs. And his monster combo Kong. Kong wants to fight Abyss and claims his monster, Jacobs' monster, is better than Abyss and can be Abyss at any given day. And um, <clears throat> that's the match I really wanted them to do. But thank God they on the right path now. <laughs> Biz versus Kong will come. Who you think will win? Who knows? OVE goes to LAX's own little locker room or drinking room or whatever, man cave, hot spot, whatever you want to call it, and <clears throat> destroys it. Destroys it. And Conan, they go back around after the damage been done, survey the damage. Conan challenges LA OVE to Bob Ryan Massacre. And they say that the network at first popped then want to film the match, but they uh, now want to see it since they can get more views and viewership and stuff. Blood equals money. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> 
the X Division tag team match. The team of Damian Desmond Xavier, Garza Jr., Sanjay Dutt took on the Cola Lee, Caleb Conley, Trevor Lee, <clears throat> and some of Global Force winner, Hakeem Zane, and the good team won on the bad team. So, um, Hishamore, the new X Division champion, comes out, confronts <clears throat> Damian and Xavier, and grants him a championship match for next week. Desmond is able on the rise as the king is Ishimori is on the rise, so Impact doing well with them coming into their own. Alright. And finally, Eddie Edwards and Moose went against KM and last with Dan Lambert in their corner. Dan Lambert, if they were smart on Impact, make him look like an authority figure. You know? <clears throat> You got the biggest heel, and you come the biggest talker. Have him be a heel. Have him be like coming around being Thor fed. Like Eric Bischoff is favor his his own self interest, not favor the fans. But I guess the impact and we 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 done with that that Thor figure crap. I think Thor figures are good when need be. You know how. But KM Penn Eddie Edwards. With some like power bomb into a double double leg suplex or something for his team, and um, I don't know what that's gonna go. But next week you have the world title in a triple threat in Detroit. You have the um, the X Division Championship on the line, and you have Barbed Wire Massacre, and you have Channel um, Channel Park. Um, I think goes against Congo Kong. So it's just a lot going on in Impact Wrestling. They're right on they on the right path. But we'll see how this new administration um would do. But anyway, that ends the pro wrestling show for this week. I'm Kendra Dick and I hope y'all had a good week and so long. And don't forget it's MLK Day. Live the dream. Be the dream. See you later.